Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, we'd met some interesting fellows, and we've got some new challenges to do. So, let's go on a train, shall we? Now, we need to hit five moving birds from the top of a train, which, well, I mean... <sighs> I don't know how challenging that's actually going to be. Um, ah, can we get up here? Because we're probably going to want to be up high. Ooh, that's she. Come on. Come on, get... Oh, the fucking... Oof, Jesus. All right, that's typical shitty rock star controls. There we go. Right, we should be able to hit some birds from up here. Maybe if we actually have, you know, a weapon drawn. Right, birdies. Birdies. Now, I think we've got to hit five for a challenge. I'm hoping this ain't going to take us into Mexico. Shouldn't do. I also think we're at the wrong time of day for birdies. Which is also a pain in the ass, but let's see what happens, shall we? All right, so I had to actually uh, rest because apparently you don't get any birds at night. Who would have thunk, huh? Ooh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, you don't get any birds flying around at night, which makes sense. So <laughs> I had to come all the way back to Armadillo. And then I had to uh, wait for a train to arrive. And then we got our little uh, shooting spree. So that's now done. Might as well collect up some of these feathers if we can. Because feathers, although they're not exactly worth mad bank, they are worth bank. <clears throat> All right, so what is next on the old docket here? So if we go to journal, um, sharpshooter rank. So kill two different types of wild animals in... Really? In one dead eye meter. That doesn't seem like it would be too hard. Although the only... I suppose the only challenge with that is we have to uh, get two different animals close to each other. But, okay. All right. Uh, there's also nine treasure maps. I did check that out. So, now we know. Okay. Okay. I've also found a 100% um, completion guide for this game, which apparently <laughs> isn't that bad. Um, I was reasonably shocked when I saw, um, you know, what you actually have to do to get 100%. Um, it, the second game, I would say, is, you know, borderline insane to get 100%. But this one, not bad. Let's try some of this five-finger fillet, shall we? Oh, we got another... Ah, oh, see, I really want to do... I really want to do the jewel, but I mm, let's go save it. I don't understand how the jewel works. Um, the tutorial that the game gives you on like how the how to actually duel enemies was like pathetic. And I think it was like two lines of text. So let's quickly go and save the game. Uh, there's also a bounty there that we probably want to take advantage of. Right, let's see if the, the guy's still there. Are you still there, dude? Yeah. Is he? Nope. Okay, I think the jewel list has gone. Right, let's go check out this wanted poster. So, who have we got here? So, Cooper Reed, Assault, Rattlesnake Hollow, it's 160 bucks alive. Let's do it. 
Your ass is mine. I'm going to make this place uh, a little bit safer for everybody. One bullet at a time. Okay, so let's see what's in the new paper. One whole dollar for this trash. So, what have we got here? Many losing faith in federal government. Alright. Hats for distinction for ladies. Kidnap woman found alive. Ah. This is what we did. A rancher's daughter, Bonnie McFarlane, kidnapped from her home in uh, Hangman's St Stead, New Austin. And narrowly escaped death by hanging after a bloody shootout between Armadillo Lawman and Bill Wilson's gang at Tumbleweed. The motive for the kidnapping is still unclear. Initial reports seem to indicate that it was a crime of passion. But Miss McFarlane is a spinster, spinster really, of 29 years, well past marriageable or childbearing age. What the fuck? 29. Damn. So this appears implausible. The incident seems to be linked to the recent capture of Norman Deke, rumoured to be Bill Wilson's second-in-command. Several men lost their lives in the skirmish, but Bill Wilson's body was not recovered, and it was thought that the notorious outlaw is still at large. Yeah, well, Deke definitely got killed. Sewage streams through... Black water, lovely. In honour of Mary Shackford, age 19, of Ridgewood Farm, her life, oh, her life was taken too soon. Damn. Seeking actors for exciting new motion picture projects. All right. Jesus, Earl Errington, age 31, and his wife, Bestie Errington, age 28, of Blackwater, proudly announced the birth of their 12th child. 12th? She's 28, so I guess that's the limit, huh? If you're older than 28, your uh, childbearing days are over. Chewing tobacco available for purchase, wonderful health benefits. Nathan Johnson, MD. Mm-hmm. Norman Deke, there we go, age 34, killed in a gun battle at Tumbleweed in Gap Tooth Ridge, New Austin. Willie Finley, 27 years old, of Ridgewater Farm, has passed away. He'll be missed by all who love him. Room available. Okay. Buck Dingles, skin salve. Treats burns, knife wounds, campfire accidents, and saddle chafing. $4.50 per... That ounce bottle? Something ounce bottle. Can be used internally with complete safety. $4.50, huh? Jesus. Alright, out of the way, dude. Right, let's go get ourselves a bounty. So, from what I can understand, there's like eight bounties in each area, I th think. Um, okay, not sure why that summoned a cutscene, but that's fine. Come on, midnight. Let's go. We have bounties. We need coin. Large quantities of coin. So where are we going? Okay, not even that far away. Perfect. Now obviously we're going to try and capture this sack of shit alive. So I'd rather have 160 bucks. I'm guessing he's going to hang either way. So, right, what have we got there? We've got a deer. Just a deer on its own. It's unfortunate. Oh, campfire. Yeah, hey guys. I don't have time to chill with you right now. We've got some scum to remove. Alright, this could be iffy. That's fine. Midnight's starting to get a little bit tired. Can hear some wild dogs. Oh. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh, that's really not great. Right, you're gone. You're gone. All right, hopefully. Oh, God. Let's see if we can save this poor miss. 
Damn. She's good. <laughs> yeah, you basically were bloody wolf food love. Jesus. The path is plenty wide enough for me. Just don't fall into any more uh, wolf. Uh, wolf? Yes. Wolf traps. Right, there's another one over there. I think that's the last of the pack. It's like phasing in and out of reality. Okay, I'm going to harvest up these bodies. All right, cool. I could only actually find three wolf corpses, but that's fine. Yeah, that woman actually was not that grateful, considering. There's also like another massive pack of wolves roaming around. So, yeah, about time we made our hasty exit. We do need to knife. Ooh. Right, so there's you. If we can get you lined up. Right, kill you. Come on. Two bullets should be enough. And you... Is that going to be a miss? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Really unfortunate. All right, we're going to have to wait for our dead eye to come back. That's fine. Now, this looks a little bit delicate up here. Ooh, okay. Rattlesnake Hollow. All right. Let's see what we can't do here. You know what? Let's just start blasting. Seems to be the smart thing to do. Who's left? Just you. Damn, I love the way they die in this game. Kind of like in the second game as well. The way they die is really well animated. That's not the guy we're after. That is. Yep, that hurts. Oof. All right, that was really close, actually. A little bit too close for comfort. Come on. Come on. Can we can we hog tie this guy? I've got a feeling the weird physics are gonna kill him in a minute. There we go. That was sketch. <laughs> it's just like ragdolling all over the place. You love to see it. Right, I'll have yours. And I'll have yours too. That'll do. <clears throat> That'll do, donkey. Right, let's carry this guy. And cut his ass back to where he belongs. The hangman's rope. Come on, my stupid friend. Ah. Did we kill a horse? Ah, oh, well. At least it's not our horse. We've got enemies coming in over the horizon. Ugh. All right, still with these guys quickly. Do not shoot my horse, dude. No way. Not having any of that nonsense. You getting up, huh? You're getting up. Not on my watch. Yeah, I don't think he can run away anymore, John. I think he's pretty much as dead as he gets. Basically vaporized his ass. All right, calm down, Midnight. Calm down. I like the way we looted him by standing on his back. All right, Midnight, come back. Come back. Midnight. This is only going to get worse if you keep wandering off. All right. There we go. <laughs> Dry gulch. Oh, hello. Jesus. These guys really are just coming out of nowhere. Man. Yeah, that could have been bad. Let's just get out of here. Because otherwise we're going to be uh, pushing up the daisies. Or at least pushing up the chuller, anyway. Speaking of which, we don't really want to run into one of those at full speed. Cool. And we are away. Yeah, not really sure where these bounty guys keep getting all those men from. They just seem to, like, randomly appear constantly. I mean, I know. Video game. 
but it does make me laugh. And they only send two at a time as well, which isn't really very productive for them. Wait, how did one survive that? Unless... Unless I actually shot his horse by accident, which is entirely possible. All right. Armadillo. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside. All right, let's go cash in this massive sack of money on the back of our horse. There we go. I like the way they wait outside as well. They know we're coming in. You know, I think wanted posters are a good thing. I think we should still have wanted posters. Think how productive that they would be. I also, I don't think you get as much honor if you, oh God. Yeah, not my town, mate. Why can't all men be like me? What? Murderer? Oh, come on. That's fine. Right, okay, cool. Yeah. I like the way she was saying he was awful rough with me. Now, if we didn't actually intervene, he would have stabbed her to death. Because that's how that little scene plays out. So, I would say that's a little bit more than being awfully rough. But hey, you know, what do I know? I guess definitions and things were different back in New Austin. Back at the turn of the century. Right, let's drop a save. Advance the time a little bit. What is the time? Oh, it's three in the morning. That's fine. That's fine. Right, let's go do a mission for our friend Nigel. Actually, where is Nigel's missions? Ah, well, technically Seth is closer. So let's go sort Seth out, shall we? Come on, Midnight. Let's go. Let's go see uh, what the hell Seth is getting up to right now. Fiddling with bodies and... Well, let's try not to think about it too much. But hopefully he got that other half of his map. You know, the one that he's been moaning about for a while. Be pretty bad if his uh, treasure of his amounted to nothing, wouldn't it? Pretty awful. Ah, uh, what is this bullshit? Okay. You getting friendly with the bodies again, Seth? a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map and I got to thinking Moses was a liar and I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things <laughs> of course <laughs> and then I realized you realized you were sick in the head that you needed to move on with your own limited time on earth no partner I realized Moses were no liar the issue was Aiden O'Leary who said he had the body? Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even gonna wait until they're buried before you. <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. 
Okay, but how are those bodies going to help you get the map? Alright. Uh, Alright, Seth. Well, we'll entertain your lunacy for now. So he doesn't like women, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. I think he likes them when they're dead, though. When they're cold and stinking. Yeah, we don't want anybody. We don't... Does. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. <laughs> coming Who's coming after us? Oh, them corpses are czars, eh? Wait, so is there a big business for this thing? Yeah, you search the bodies. Oh no. Stop getting weird with the corpses. Come on, Seth. Stop getting weird with the corpses. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can we just. Can we just get this over with, Seth? It's, it's not right, dude. Well, I mean, bullets are always nice. Even if they've got corpse stench on them, I suppose. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be so hard on Seth. He's having a good time. Also shot the shit out of that horse. Which I really didn't want to do. I get the feeling that he likes dead men. Yeah, I don't think any of these guys have got your map, dude. Uh, Seth, you're a queer man. And I mean queer as in funky. Right, you're done. You sure have a lot of people that seem to be after you, dude. You have the map, seriously, off a random corpse that you've stumbled on. Are you sure, Seth? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, no. He's kissing the corpses. Seth. Oh, God damn it. Now, one thing I am looking forward about uh, the second game is getting into all the uh, random-ass characters. Because this game's got some amazing characters. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take a bath. Uh, I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. I mean, surely if he put all of this energy into just becoming rich. You know what? It's fine. It, it's totally fine. All right, let's ditch this wagon. Midnight, where you at? Should we do another one for Seth? I guess we're already here, so... God damn it, let's go see what this weird fucking mutant wants this time. He's a perfectly normal necrophiliac. Aren't they all? Let's bury the dead. Like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a scent. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? 
No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned... Wait. Wait, are you looking for the treasure that we... Uh... Repossessed earlier. Oh shit, hello. The me here. So these guys really think you're onto something, huh? Well, maybe they, maybe he is then. Pretty sure it's not going to end that well for him though. Well, I mean, I suppose you could argue the fact that life has already gone as south as it's going to go for him. Man, it's really hard to see the enemies. Oh, hi, friend. Was it worth it? Oh, God. I'm not leaving you, Seth. Don't worry, buddy. Just, you know, don't leave me out of uh, my share of that treasure. Which apparently is absolutely a thing. Yeah, we're killing them all, but we need a better gun. Six rounds just ain't enough. We still got some pretty basic weapons as well. How the hell did you survive a shot to the throat? We probably shouldn't be standing out right in the open. Probably not the best idea. Probably. Ooh. That guy didn't even react. Well, I'm trying to blow their brains out, Seth. I do appreciate the moral support. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I do think... Ooh. Unlucky, sir. I do think this is a better game than um, GTA. I really do. Right, let's go loot some of these bodies because we need some ammo. I don't actually think you need to loot the bodies to grab the ammo. Wow, 32 rounds. Nice. I'm hoping Seth can't die. I mean, would we even notice if he did die? Seems to spend a lot of time being comfy with the dead, if you know what I mean. Yep, an odd fella. I get the feeling, though. Ooh, right in the cactus. Oof. I get the feeling that you, we don't actually get that many missions with Seth, though. Deuce. Then eh, nobody's taking your treasure except potentially me. Because, now, I don't want to upset you. But I've already been here. Unless there's two loads of treasure here. Yeah, you're doing a fine job, Seth. I'm helping you, buddy. You gotta calm down. Nobody's finding it. They're dead. Literally everybody's dead, Seth. Except me. I'm jury still out on you. Oh god damn it. You gotta go now. It's our last hmm. Let's try around the back. Pretty sure we could have smashed that door down. Just saying. All right, stay back, Seth. We're in luck. Nobody's here yet, partner. No turn back now. It looks like we're the only people here. Oh, where the fuck did you guys come from? I mean, seriously. Come on, dude. I've already lost mine. Okay. Yeah, you go grab your damn treasure, and then you owe me a favor, mate, and not like that. Just a little something for my trouble. Okay. I like them better, yeah, man. well, they're all dead now. So you don't have anything to worry about. Ah, right, okay, so the treasure's upstairs. So, he's not looking for the treasure that we pilfered earlier. There more of these guys. Oh god, that's not great. Yeah, I've heard that a few times now. Few have been successful. 
Oh, hey, Seth. Ooh. Seth, nobody is getting your treasure. Are you even sure your treasure exists? Or is it just a fabrication of your estranged mind? Come on, dude. We shot his fingers off. But obviously that was not good enough. That must be some serious wood. Ooh. Shot his fingers off and now his arm. Oh, I think we got him. We got him. Well, that was a bit of slaughter. Can't go wrong with a bit of slaughter. Especially when they're bad necks. It's never fun to kill the good guys. Apart from when it is. Yeah, look, Seth, they're all... Seth, they're dead. Oh, maybe they're not. Jesus. You're dead. Yeah. Alright. There was a lot of treasure hunters here, dude. At least I hope they're treasure hunters. And they're not just after the bodies. Well, to be fair, Seth, we did an awful lot of the work. Just saying. Ooh, that was lucky. What you got there for me, sir? Oh, I thought you had a shotgun. I guess he didn't. Alright, Seth, what do you got, brother? Are you sure? All these years. <laughs> silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on. Yeah. The goddamn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Stupid liars. Stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye. It's a glass eye. Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Some dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. You've wasted your whole life, Seth. How does it feel? Hopefully, uh, he can add some clarity to the situation now. Hopefully, uh... This will calm his very broken and estranged mind. Alright. So. Let's get out of here. We're actually out of time. Oh, this is a quicker way down. There we go. We didn't really need our knees anyway, did we? So anyway, guys, I think we're going to leave it here. We've done a couple more missions for our friend Seth. Only three missions. Yeah, I mean, I remember there wasn't many of them for Seth, but... Hello? Oh, hi. I was wondering who was hollowing at me. Come on, midnight. It's been a long morning. Let's get out of here. And you guys, hopefully, I'll see you in the next part.